Right, I'm going to show you how to install the Viata firewall with inside our vCenter infrastructure. So what we'll do is that uh, we'll just create a new VM here. Okay, so we'll go for custom. And what I've done is I've downloaded the ISO for the live CD. So it will allow us to install into uh, our VM and then it will run uh, from there. Okay, so let's uh, try and find it. We'll put it in there and um, we'll call it uh, that. Okay, so we're going to uh, allow it to install into the, the cluster and then into that app area. Uh, so we'll put it into production and uh, we'll go for VM the virtual machine version 8 and then we need a Linux version so we'll go for something like a 32 bit Linux uh, something like this one here we'll go for one core that's fine and the memory size, we don't need too much, so we'll go for 5, 12, half a gig memory. And then what we'll do is we'll give it three adapters and just pick the adapters that you want it to be mounted onto. Okay, so three adapters would give us in, out, and a DMZ. And let's go for this one here. our adapters. Uh, we'll just take the default SCSI and we'll create a disk. So I think 4 gigs should be enough. Make it thin provision so it'll only grow when uh, when things are written to it. Go for SCSI. And that's it. So what we need to do is we need to mount the CD drive onto it. We need to then install the operating system for the firewall and then we obviously need to dismount the CD drive. So here let's find our our storage. Here we are. Okay, so you would normally go to your data store and then upload your ISO. Okay, so it's now mounted. So we'll connect a power on and it should connect. And then what we're going to do is we're going to install it onto our 4 gig disk and then we'll dismount the CD drive once we've installed. Okay, so let's power it on. And while it's doing that, let's have a look at the console. Okay, so it's now booting off the CD. Just let it do that. Takes a little minute. Okay, so the default username and password is Vieta. Vieta. There we go. Okay, so we've got uh, a number of uh, options that we can actually use. So we can install a, a new system. So that's what we're going to do. So we'll install the system. Oops. And we'll take the default there. Just auto. And it's found our hard disk, our 4 gig hard disk. Uh, we're just going to continue to both destroy the partition. 4 gig partition. It's just creating the file system. Okay, take 
that and we'll just go for same password again just to make it easy just setting up the boot partition now and that's it okay it wasn't that easy so what we'll do is we'll, we'll power it off dismount the CD drive we'll dismount the CD drive and then it should boot on its own there we go so just stop it from booting with the CD drive and power it on open the console should automatically boot so uh, if our system crashes then we just keep it powered on okay and uh, not, uh, okay so various commands that we can use show the configuration uh, show bridge, ARP, Ethernet, interfaces and so on. So show interfaces allows us to look at the interfaces that we have. Okay, so there's three interfaces plus a, a look back on on this uh, machine. Uh, we can use show configuration. That shows our basic configuration for the for the firewall. You can see there there's the three uh, main Ethernet adapters, there's a loopback, uh, we can set things like the login here and and so on. Okay, so it's good to have a look around and uh, it's a great, great firewall, it's just fantastic the way it sets up and so easy uh, compared to more of our Bose firewall. Uh, we can look at our IP things there. Uh, we can look at our routes and so on. But the first thing we'll do is we'll actually set uh, some some details. Okay, so let's look at our our configuration again. So the first thing we do is configure. That takes us into configuration mode. Then we can have a look at what we've got. So we can set uh, our interfaces, set the firewall, that, and so on. So we do set interfaces, interfaces. <laughs> uh, so now we can look at uh, all our different bridging. And uh, this case, we're going to set the Ethernet adapter. Then it tells us, isn't that fantastic? It tells us our Ethernet adapters that we have there. So I'm pressing question mark each time here just just so that you you know where you are and we're going to set the address and 10.200.0. We'll make it to 252 slash 24 Okay, and then we can say commit. We can then exit and there we go. Okay, so that that shows how you can actually set up your firewall uh, for for. Uh, for connectivity and then you would go ahead and set it up for each of the the VLANs that you're actually connected to you would set IP addresses up for each of the interface ports
Okay. So in in the end, we uh, we can just log out, and that's us all running.